Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to colorize your bar graph in my palette. So from the last video, I covered how to create a basic uh, bar graph. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to customize um, some of the appearance settings. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is how to change the uh, bar color. Now going back to the bar method, we can change the bar color by referencing the color parameter. Inside the color parameter, we can either provide the RGB value uh, in ratios. So for example, if I want to color my bars uh, in red, I'm going to set the red color ratio to 100, which is going to be one. And for the green and blue color, it's going to be zero. And we can also set the uh, transparency. If we set the value to one, that means uh, there's no transparency. And if I change the transparency value to, let's do uh, 0.2. And the red color becomes pink. And if you have an image in the background, then you will be able to see the uh, background to each bars. Now I want to color individual bar. I don't want to have all the bars use the same color. In that case, based on how many bars you have, in this case, I have four bars. So I can merely type the bar color. So I want to set the first bar to red, blue, pink, and the last one is to orange. So I can uh, specify each bar color individually by providing an array. Now if I plot the graph, and this is what I'm going to have. We can also provide the hex value. So here, let me choose a random color. Let's use this one. I'll grab the hex value and I'll replace pink with the uh, hex value. And on this updated graph, uh, the pink bar is now replaced with uh, this uh, teal green color. All right, so that's how you uh, change the bar color. Now, if I want to change the border color, so here, let's go back to the bar method. If I want to change the border color, then I want to uh, insert the edge color parameter. And here we can set the border color. Here, let's do red. And I'll insert the red border to all the bars. And again, if I want to uh, assign individual uh, border color, then you will insert an array object. And here let's do blue, white, and let's do blue again, and black. And the white border is a little bit uh, difficult to see just because my background is white. Yeah, but this is pretty much uh, everything I'm going to share in this tutorial. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.